in looking to the future, one of the uh, really nice developments over these years has been the role of the Athletes Commission. In the early days, uh, well, the Athletes Commission was first formed at the IOC level in 1980, and it struggled a little bit in terms of what do they do, how do they go about their business, and that was at a national level as well. And it's taken some time for the Athletes Commission in Australia to figure out what they're doing, to then do it effectively. And I have great hopes that that process will continue into the future. And when I have a look at the quality of the people that have put themselves forward for that committee, I just feel so good about the, the uh, Olympics going into the future uh, being controlled uh, by the Olympic Committee as it's currently uh, put together and influenced greatly by the athletes uh, through their Athletes Commission and keeping in mind, of course, that there are two athletes that are permanent, full voting members of the AOC Executive Board so that there can be a direct uh, link, a direct pressure uh, being brought upon my successes uh, on the Executive Board uh, to keep the athletes in mind, to keep their requirements at the forefront and, uh, and I have great faith in, in what the Athletes Commission will do into the future. Mm -hmm.